Yo, what's up guys, you're Kitty here, and welcome to a video all about some match analysis. Today at CEO, we saw Ninja Killer 212 take on Big D. Ninja Killer has always been the guy with, uh, you know, the kind of online warrior persona, like, oh, can he do good offline though? And he actually competed in a major tournament today. So he takes on Big D who plays Cetrion. So I was really excited to watch this match. And I thought as a Cetrion main, even though he plays a slightly different variation, there is a couple things about it that uh, I thought I could maybe chime in with some cool uh, gameplay elements and whatnot on it. So I just thought that I would make a video about it because I thought it would be a good idea. Um, I'm just going to cut out the crushing blows and fatal blows. I'm not going to really edit over them or anything in this video just for uh, monetization's sake. Uh, hopefully that happens. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is... With Spring Cleaning, she has the Geyser, which works very similar to the Ground Pound. However, it's five frames more negative on block, which actually becomes a big thing because it gets punished a couple times by Flying Kick, whereas Ground Pound usually wouldn't. So I thought I would mention that off the get-go here. Um, so it looks like they're getting into it. I don't think they do any sort of a button check or anything here. Just kind of, you know, a couple guys playing games. So they let the intros rock, which is good. If you're in a tournament, you know, let the intros rock. And Cetrion, especially against Liu Kang's main variation, she really wants to keep him out. Like, that's your main goal, is to really not let Liu Kang get really close to you. So, so there's a couple boulders there, and the boulder into Geyser is a... Uh, see, right there, I, I don't really agree with him teleporting there, because you're giving up your full screen game, obviously. And Liu Kang is just so much better up close than Cetrion. And we're seeing that right now. Teleports away, very smart. Uh, meter, you know, meter burn it, amplified it, it missed. It was a read, I respect it. So there's Big D throwing in the, oh, very nice on the, uh, sorry, Big D throwing in the threat of the frame trap, which you have to establish early because then you get so much more mix on that. Ninja Killer trying to punish the, uh, the geyser, but just kind of at the wrong range there. Flying kick, there's the punish on the geyser as I was talking about. And the thing the thing is with this is that uh, you know in spring cleaning you don't get the low. I'm not I'm not trying to be a you know <laughs> low tier hero on the force of nature versus spring cleaning. I'm just trying to discuss some of the reasons why I prefer to play it. I don't know if that breakaway was intentional. I, you know, I, I think it was smart, but uh, I'm not sure that he actually meant to do it. One one two. Ninja Killer coming forward with the enhanced. He blocked the second hit of the uh, the enhanced fireballs, which I do on habit quite a bit. But uh, it, you can't just neutral duck all of them. Catches the guys or catching moving forward. I might have just kept him full screen there. I'm not sure if I would have really wanted to deal with Liu Kang's nonsense up close. But you know, spring cleaning does have the uh, rock wall can't remember what it's called right now but that does keep her safe so very wow very nice pressing you know buttons on on wake up which is can be kind of risky but paid off in his favor at that moment in time air fireballs nice throw on the whiff punish what ninja killer is trying to do here is trying to catch him yeah exactly right there going into the hell's wrath and to stop him doing the hell's wrath by doing the air fireballs that in my opinion, is a little bit too risky to do because you always have the fear of the air boulder that could hit him out of it. However, the recovery on air fireballs is so quick that I'm not really sure that it would hit unless it was a really hard read. So he's doing a great job there. And of course, fatal blow. Sorry guys, I kept talking during the uh, fatal blow there, but basically what I was trying to reiterate is that Ninja Killer was doing a really good job of you know using the high fireballs to shut down the Hell's Wrath, which is the air fire move that Cetrion does, and uh, hopefully he can keep it up, and we'll we'll see if Big D is phased by it in the next round or not, but just to give you the gist of it, that's what I was saying. Big ups to, uh, to Ninja Killer for establishing that in the matchup, and we'll see if, if that affects Big D going forward, if he needs to, you know, if, if he starts doing the Hell's Wrath less, because he's worried about the air fireballs from Liu Kang. So, that's quite risky, but, you know, even though uh, the first game is a lot of instill the fear in your opponent and just let them know that, you know, you can do this or you can't do this. So, so far it looks like uh, Big D's going back to doing Big D things. Guys are into, uh, yeah, there's the boulders, air boulders, Hell's Wrath. He isn't really phased by uh, what Ninja Killer does. He knows that the uh, 
the payoff is a little bit more in his favor. Trying to zone a little bit more. I like that. Oh, okay. That was a nice teleport. Making the read, uh, Ninja Killer with, with the breakaway. Big D only did a down one there. I think he could have done something a little bit more because once he air escaped, he had no meter to wake up. So it's pretty much your turn to do whatever you like there. Uh, Cetrion does have some options using the Hell's Wrath to keep her safe. And I think that that would have been a good opportunity to do so. Either way, going back into it, flying kicks, very nice. Wake up roll. Um, so I kept talking during the fatal blows because I'm an idiot. <laughs> but what I was trying to say was that uh, the 4 2 3 stagger that Big D keeps doing, uh, Ninja Killer has already punished it. And then he did it again, and then it gave Ninja Killer his turn back, even though he didn't actually punish it. You know, he, he managed to stagger a string and then go into the string that would ultimately kill Big D in this matchup. So I think it's uh, very important to catch up. When you're playing first to twos, it's really important to pay attention to what happens. You know, he might have been better off just to finish the string and he would have hit him out of the punish. So that's kind of what I was trying to get at there. One thing I do want to mention is that Ninja Killer, Ninja Killer did uh, punish the stagger on that uh, floor two three string quite well. Okay, we're down to we're down to two health. Oh, the teleport and the read. What a read, man. And reaction by this young young gentleman. So one round up for him. Ooh. Hell's Wrath, very nice. Boulder. Use the boulder to back. See, he used the boulder uh, to backdash and then just uh, teleport it in again. I really don't understand why he's not trying to play a farther away game. I do believe that Liu Kang is a little bit better up close than Cetrion, so it doesn't really make too much sense to me to come into him. There's a crushing blow right there that happened and you know gets the, uh, the kick off of it. That was really unexpected, but really good from Ninja Killer, understanding the the stage, which is something that a lot of people don't do. Like the offensive interactables like that don't really get used too much that I see. And committing to the full combo, knowing that he didn't have any defensive meter to break away. Very smart. Ninja Killer takes that game. I really would want to see Big D kind of run away a little bit because he's doing really well in, uh, in the distance. And you'll see, in, at this point in time, nobody changes characters, but Big D is just going back to the, the tournament screen. You can tell they're buddies. They're both Florida boys. <laughs> so he's going back to the character select screen just to kill some time and really think about it. And that's something a lot of people don't do that I wish more people did do, was just, you know, go back. Even if you're not switching characters, go back to character select. Take a couple minutes to yourself, you know, just to, you know, you also kill your opponent's momentum a little bit, you know. It's not, okay, they just won, now we're going back into it, so... Great read by Big D. Ninja Killer doing a great job here. And there's so much flawless blocking with the projectiles here. I think Big D could have done a little bit of a better punish there because the back three does link into the um, tendrils and you can get a full combo off of that. But, you know, in the heat of the moment, I mean, it's, it's easy to say, oh, you can do this or that or the other thing. But the big thing is you got to punish off of it. So um, either way, Got the geyser. I don't know what happened. There's a little split in the thing there. Big D has the life lead. Hopefully he doesn't teleport to put himself even closer. Uh, that being said, he is moving himself to the corner without even doing anything offensive, so. Rocks. That was incredible. That was that was such a great read there by uh and convert by by ninja killer you don't see that crushing blow too often so he teleports and uh, we're like right next to him and then just kind of blocks and then he get, ends up getting like shimmied and fatal blowed so it's I'm, I'm not really sure he's being too productive with the teleport like i'm not really sure why he'd do that like what his game plan was um i felt you could have been better just to try and mix him up a little bit more with projectiles or maybe you know throw some, some hell's wrath but uh, either way, you know, it's what happened is <laughs> what happened. So, but every time he teleports close to him, I, I'm not really sure why you'd want to do that against Liu Kang unless you're going to punish something he's doing. It just doesn't make sense to me. But 
you know, spring cleaning does have limited options. Full screen, you have the boulder, the, the uh, high boulder, and then you have the, see there's a reversal punish on the geyser. And then you have the straightforward boulder. So that's, uh, damage, 244, Cetrion damage. Hits him with the rock wall. I would love to see a little bit more of the teleport. If you're gonna do it close to him, very nice whiff punish. Unfortunately, no meter to enhance it. Ooh, that was, I'm sure that he tried to do the two, one, three punish for the crushing blow, but uh, he missed it there and got the standing one. That happens to me all the time. <laughs> Boulder, boulder, one kick. Oh, he doesn't have the breakaway, he, and he's realized this. Three health, what's gonna happen? And he guesses incorrectly, and that is it. So, Ninja Killer, taking out Big D, that's a big name, in a good matchup <laughs> that's, uh, you know, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure that's a 5-5 matchup, but I'm not 100% sure. He made some great, it almost looked like Big D's about to dab right now, but. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed videos like these and you want to see more, please leave a like and let me know in the comments down below. And if you're new here, please subscribe because we make videos every single day. Hashtag Big Dink Energy, and we will see all you guys in the next video.